talking about the Challenge Cup, you know, last couple of years it's been preseason, now it's midseason. How does that approach differ from, from last year to this year, just in kind of how the, the Challenge Cup plays in for you? I think going back to last season where it was the very beginning, um, we used that as a an add-on to preseason against comp- competitive uh, teams. So a little bit different now. We're we're three games into the season. Challenge Cups midweek. We, you know, it's it's a moment to use your full roster, give players opportunities to come in. But we're here to win as well. Like you know, we wanna we wanna get the ball rolling. We wanna start winning games and. You know, after the disappointment of the weekend, um, it's a great opportunity to bounce back and um, play in front of our fans again and show how far we've come. Um, the performances have been good, um, and you know everyone wants to to win a game of football, and the players need to be rewarded with the hard work and um, desire to to win a game by getting the result uh, over the line. Have you seen the team kind of bounce back at this this morning? Yeah, I mean, it's never easy after uh, losing a game in the way we did, the manner that we did. It's obviously frustrating because, again, the players are, are working extremely hard. And, um, you know, that's that's a disappointment that luck hasn't really been on our side with, you know, a, a referee decision has changed the, changed the result of the game. And, you know, that's something that we can't control. Um, but we do feel like we're going in the right direction. We're still trying to do the right things. Um, and we're developing and getting better each game. Um, it'll, it'll turn around and the results will be justified by, you know, the, the, the fundamentals that we're doing and just keep doing it. Looking at North Carolina, it's a, obviously a very familiar team that you guys have played over the years, but it's a different team this year missing some pieces from last year. How, how have you seen their No, you're right. They they're going through a rebuild. They've lost key players and what um, they used to look like. So it'll be an exciting game. They um, they're obviously disappointed as well, having not won their last game. Also, they'll be looking to bounce back. And you know, it's a time where we have to focus on ourselves as well, less about the opponent and more about ourselves, and and keep going and keep challenging every day, every every week, every match day. And um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity and I'm glad it's um, come this quickly because we can ultimately forget about the last result and just move on and focus on Wednesday night. Just kind of looking at this week in full, you have the Wednesday night game, but you also have the Sunday night game in Kansas City. How, did, how does that kind of change your approach just throughout the week of kind of where you go with the team and, and how you kind of approach the, the minutes of the players? Yeah, I mean, it's still early on in the season. Um, this where preseason was uh, was important. You know, it's more about the roster and the squad that you've put together. And again, giving players opportunities uh, to show what they're capable of doing. We we trust all of our, all of our players that they can come onto the field and put a performance uh, worthy of a win. So. Again, it's the focus is on Wednesday. We'll come after Wednesday. The focus is on Kansas uh, away from home. When you look at the, the the team right now and kind of the the way it's been playing in, in terms of the forwards, you have Messiah that played a full ninety uh, this past game. Injury bug has kind of hit your team a little bit in, in that position. Um, how have you seen just kind of the progression of, of some of the younger players uh, up top uh, in terms of gaining their confidence, and especially with Messiah scoring the game before? Yeah, it's a, it's a tough league. Um, they're learning that winning's hard. Um, you have to put every every ounce into every moment you step onto the field. Um, you know, again, I, I look back at the work ethic and, you know, they're getting in the right positions. It's, it's going to come down to the execution. And, you know, I feel like, you know, with any forward, once you score one, you, you get that hunger to score more and, you, it becomes a habit. So, you know, as long as the players, the forwards, are keep putting themselves in positions to score, I think it will come. I think it's the final touch. It's the final uh, execution of the pass. Um, 
you know that's just where that's where we're falling behind but we are creating opportunities to score we are getting in good areas we we're, we're getting more numbers in the box um covering every zone in the box as well so it's the last part it's the cherry on top that we, that um that we need and i think once we get there we'll be in a really good position how much is john It's massive because he's he's talking from a place of experience. He's been in these positions. He's been, you know, in a in a position where he's played at the highest level. And every every, I'm sure he won't mind me saying he's gone through a goal drought. He's been in top form where everything he touches goes in goal. So he can come from a place of I have been in your shoes, guys. Um, so he he's pushing the the forwards he's he's doing his best to to put them in positions so they can be successful and score goals and that's really important for all of us because you know we can we can relate to the players um again for me been a defender and ex defender I can relate to some of the positions that the defenders have been in you know Yolanda's come in she's she's played at a high level also so Everything that they've, they're going through, we've been through it ourselves. So it comes from a, a good place and we just want the best for the players and they trust us and they trust our, our opinion. And, you know, again, we're not far away from getting a three-point um, win.